It is exam season in my world, so between containing my excitement over restaurants and gyms opening up, I have about four weeks of practice left before my clinical exams. My day begins at the gym for the first time in months. I activate muscles which I forgot I had, and not sure if I'm crying or sweating at this point, I end the most pitiful session and head home. It's the day before my food delivery, so realising my fridge is absolutely empty, I end up straight back out to the shops before my muscles freeze up after what I just put them through. I have a quick shower to make myself look presentable for the day, and then have my carb-free breakfast in front of the computer, as I get a few work tasks ticked off my mental to-do list. Next, I have a work meeting, so I take my laptop to the lounge, which is gloriously empty, so no one's annoyed by my constant laughing. Now done with work for the day, I can go back to being a medical student. Me and my friend have decided to meet up for clinical practice on campus today. The weather is as confusing as our hospital schedules, so unsure if I should have made some effort to find my umbrella or brought some sunscreen, I give up and rather focus on the more important things food. I made the mistake of forgetting to double the amount my friend promised he'd take to get to London Bridge, so by showing up on time, I'm left with 30 minutes of nothing to do. I end up getting us pizzas for lunch. We end up having them in front of a lecture, and after we have a quick catch-up, we start practicing. We usually do a mixture of acting, sticking needles in things, pretending to stick needles in things, and excitingly today, catheterization. We meet one of our friends for the first time in months and pressure her into joining our OSCE practice. She also makes a brilliant patient, this time almost hyperventilating to fit the scenario. After now having spent six and a half hours practicing, we decide either through osmosis of being around so much equipment or all the mistakes we've made, we must have learned something new, so we head off to a restaurant before realising we're locked in the building. The doors lock automatically after 5pm, so after I admit my stupidity on the phone to security, we are finally allowed out. We go to one of our favourite French restaurants, where we get to experience absolutely brutal customer service and amazing food. I get made fun of for my choice in snails, which I do really recommend trying if you haven't before, and after a great catch up with everyone, we basically get pushed out for the table to be made available again. I go back home and, wondering how I can add some last minute work into my day while not really feeling like doing lectures, I decide to watch a documentary. Thinking documentaries basically count as lectures, I bless my ears with some good audio and visuals for a change. Curiosity Stream are very kindly sponsoring this video, and if you also fancy taking an educational and more guilt-free break every now and then, you can sign up with a discount code in the description, which will basically give you a whole year's access to thousands of documentaries for the price of a takeaway, and also free access to Nebula, where educational creators like myself get to share our videos ad-free. I'm going through a fresh rabbit hole of vegetarian vegan documentaries after having some interesting chats with some friends on the topic. At 1am, I realised I've been booked for a 6am food delivery the next morning. Feeling the tears build up for such an early wake up, I decide to make myself fall asleep and call it a day. If you made it so far, as always, thank you so much for spending this day with me. I hope you have a wonderful one yourself. Bye!